Hey everyone, this is Corey with iMod.Systems. I just wanted to start this video by just saying thank you to everybody that showed a lot of support so far to the channel. Uh, everybody who's liked and subscribed and commented on my videos, it's really meant a lot so far. Um, honestly, I didn't think that I would get such a positive reception when I started this, so I'm just genuinely overwhelmed by everybody's support and I truly, truly appreciate all of the support that everybody's given me so far. So. Uh, with that out of the way, um, you can tell already that we have a copy of Pokemon Emerald here, and this game is in need of some serious help. Um, so I actually bought this off of eBay, and I paid way too much money for it, but the uh, description on the listing was actually pretty interesting, and it kind of caught my eye. So uh, the description stated that they owned the game for about four or five years, and they went to replace the battery, and they got some solder on the chip. And um, once they got the solder on the chip, they, they stopped working on it. And they actually stated in the description that it would make an interesting YouTube video. So here we are. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this today and I'm gonna show you how to repair it. And I also have another treat that uh, I'm gonna do as well. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So that little teaser here. So let's open the game and take a look. All right, so right away we can see some carnage. We have two missing battery pads here. We have the solder on the chip that the seller was talking about. Thankfully, R9 is still present over here. A lot of times this gets floated off, especially when you have a ball of solder over here. So I'm actually impressed that uh, R9 is still here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this repaired. And then, like I said, I have a, another treat that I'm gonna show you as well. So I'm gonna go over the tools that we're gonna need um, to repair this game. All right, so the first tool that we're gonna need is gonna be our soldering iron. We're gonna need some wick and we're gonna be using flux. All right, with that said, let's get under the microscope and let's get this game repaired. All right, so you can see here that we have the game all repaired and cleaned up. So the next step, we're just gonna pop it into our Game Boy and test and see if this game works. Nintendo logo, that's a good sign. And it looks like we're working. Fantastic. Just a little bit of wick and this game is all fixed up. All right, so I don't know about you, but these missing battery pads would really bug me. Um, so HDR in the Game Boy community actually created these custom circuit boards for uh, damaged games just like this, where you could take all of the components from your damaged game and put them on this custom circuit board here, and it will perform just like an original game. This is going to be my personal copy of the game, so I really don't mind. I'm not using this as a, you know, the cornerstone of my collection or anything. Um, I would just feel better, you know, playing the game, uh, knowing that, you know, it's going to be 100% functional. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to transplant all of these parts on this circuit board here, and we're going to put them on this one. So let's get started. The first tool that we're going to need here to perform this swap is going to be my little miniware hot plate. We're going to use a hot air rework station. I'm going to use my Hacko Micro Pencil, my Engineer Tweezers, and you guessed it, more flux. So let's get started with the swap. Thank you. 
All right, now for the finishing touch. This is my Pokemon Emerald shiny version. I had this custom label made up by Matthew Mods on Etsy. I'll put a link in the description below. But what do you guys think? I think this look looks really awesome. I'm really happy with this. Uh, I think this personally looks better than the old board that had the missing battery pads on there. I mean, that's just something that would always bug me. So this is my personal copy. Uh, it's custom. It's one of a kind. And it's something that I'm going to use and uh, play and really enjoy. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Um, I'll continue to keep making content and like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much.